wacky musician. Today we are going to make and play instruments out of paper. You can't really play an instrument out of paper. You can make an instrument out of paper and then play it. That makes more sense. Anyways, I can't take credit for this. There's a rather brilliant young lady who had this information posted on our site, and as far as I know, she came up with it. So you might want to check that out. So first of all, let's look at how these are made. Take a sheet of paper. Take high paper. This is actually music paper. Uh, higher quality paper works better, I've discovered. We're going to roll it. Looks like you're getting ready to spank the dog, doesn't it? That dog. All right. All right. You're going to take some, a rubber band on one side. Mm, all right, that's tight enough. And you're going to take a rubber band on the other side. That's what's going to hold it together. Uh, you can also use tape if you, you want to do it the cheat method. Uh, the tape will keep the paper in place better. I like to stick just a little tape on there. And then we're going to take the scissors here. About an inch or two, inch or two from the top, we're going to take, I'm going to take and put two little slices here. Not too deep in. And I'm going to fold it out here. Closer to the camera. And, and then, where those two little slits are, I'm going to poke my scissors through. And I'm going to cut out a hole. There you see. That didn't come out quite right. Let me fix that. All right, so now we have a hole. Oh, we're almost there. Of course, right now, nothing happens, so we need something else. What you need now, and we'll go over here, we need to get between the layers of the paper. Make it so you can see. Get between the layers of the paper there, and pull this down a bit, up to the hole. So now we've got something that looks like that. Now, you don't want too low on the hole, so I'm going to put my scissors through, push up a little bit, and actually right like that will probably work pretty well. Now, I'm, I keep an eye on this part of the hole here, because if, if the air can't flow between the layers there, it does not work as well. Get my scissors back in, right. I'm going to stick the scissors all the way through and use it just to open up that area where, right there a little bit to be sure the air can flow through it. Now you may have to experiment some between these holes and how much paper there is between the layers until you get it to work. As I said, higher quality paper will work easier. Right now I can't get this one to work. As I said, you may need to fiddle around with it a bit to get it to work. Now I'm going to show you one I made earlier out of better paper that's uh, already prepared. This is um, actually made out of uh, photo paper. There's the hole. You can see the bend right there. This one has a finger hole on it. Change the pitch. And that is the paper flute. Now, of course, mine's just plain white. You can decorate these, color them. Um, just keep in mind, you're going to be putting your mouth here, so be careful what you put there. I haven't tried putting more than one hole yet. <clears throat> right, I've gone ahead and cut out a second hole there. See that? We now have two fingering holes. And you may be wondering why I, those holes are not lined up with the mouth hole. That is because I've discovered that, unlike a recorder here, where the air is either coming up here or through the body of the instrument, on these, part of the air column is actually running between the layers. If you cut a hole in that path, you may mess up that airflow and your flute will stop working. So I found it better to cut the holes off that path to the side of it. And let's listen. That seems to have come out pretty well. I uh, did not use any mathematical formula to place the holes, which one probably should use if they want actual pitches. Those pitches seem to have worked out fairly well, but they were rather arbitrarily made. Maybe my experience with woodwinds just gave me a good idea where to put the hole. I don't know. Anyways, let's try another one, see if it messes up our flute or if it'll work. All right, now I have three holes in the flute, and we're going to see if it still works and what we get. Got a higher pitch there. Let's see what our pitches are. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Because you realize this is just paper. Well, I think I'm going to try a fourth hole just to see what happens. All right. Now we have four holes. Let's see what happens. Hey, it plays. So it does play. Our pitches are a little different. You know, my, my trying different fingerings there, being a woodwind player, I uh, have some ideas on fingerings that others might not. That uh, is that. The uh, mouthpiece is now getting too wet. As will happen, since it is paper, you can only play it for so long and it'll start to deteriorate. So you need to let it dry out before you can play it again. So that's all. That's a paper flute. And we'll see you later. Don't know why I do that.